Uh, good morning. 1 Timothy 4 verse 7 says, Train yourself in godliness, for while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way. This is a little reflection called true godliness. Have you ever come across the expression, he is so heavenly minded that he is of no earthly use? It is a pretty damning criticism of the kind of religious attitude that seems totally preoccupied with the affairs of the soul and forgets that there is a mind and body to consider as well. One of the great strengths of the Christian faith is that it springs out of human experience. To be more explicit, the human experience of Jesus, the Son of God and Carpenter of Nazareth. If you are tempted to imagine that religion deals only with the spiritual side of life, remember the response of Jesus to the sores of the leper, to the distracted parents grieving over their dying daughter, to the women caught in bed with someone else's husband, not to mention what he did for over 5,000 hungry people. It seems to me no accident when the death sentence was passed upon Jesus. It was a cross which became the instrument of his death. The vertical beam, rooted in earth and pointed to heaven. The horizontal beam, stretched out to embrace the whole of God's world. So where does true godliness fit in? One of the frequent temptations you'll find in life will be that you be comparing yourself with other people. It's a dangerous game. It can persuade you that you are better than others and make you a little conceited. It can create in you a sense of failure and turn you into a no-hop, no-hoper. Either way, it will lead you to become increasingly dissatisfied with yourself as you catch glimpses of either the prideful person or the pessimist from time to time. True godliness requires you that you make God himself the basis of comparison. And for the Christian, that means comparing yourself with Jesus, the Son of God and Carpenter of Nazareth. When you've done that, you'll realise there's only one way to go, and that's up. If on the journey up you keep Jesus company, you'll find that more and more of his godliness will rub off on you, and that's marvellous. So you're probably wondering why you got the tape measure in front of you. Well, the tape measure is asking the question, who are you trying to measure up to? Who are you trying to compare yourself to? Let's stand beside Jesus. Let's walk alongside him today. And let the life of Jesus, let the characteristics of Jesus, become part of who we are today. Have a great day. God bless you.